Hello everybody and welcome back to our Fallout 3 playthrough. I'm your host Valenfor. You find us in Megaton, which is where we left off in the last episode. We are actually going to be heading now. Welcome to Megaton. Enjoy your stay. Okay, thanks. We're leaving Megaton. And let me just set up on the map so I know where I'm going. We're heading down this way. Go place a marker. It's pretty much just straight. And along the way, we might end up discovering, you know, a few bits and bobs here, there, and everywhere. In actual fact, can you see the bottom left? There's a mini map. The big uh, sort of triangular thingies like this. That's pointing in the direction of the location that we've got m marked as our current objective. There's also these other little triangles. If I mark here, can you see? That's in the direction of a location that we can get on the map. And the more locations that we discover, can you see these ones that are darkened out? That means we've discovered them. The triangular ones that don't haven't been filled in, we haven't discovered these areas yet. If we do, we've then got an area that we can fast travel to, okay? So uh, it also displays when we've got enemies. Yeah, and that, my friends, is a new enemy that we've not seen before. This one is a mole rat. Lovely little guys, but unfortunately, he's going to try and eat me. Sorry, Mr. Mole Rat. That's one Mole Rat down. Okay, heading on. Let's put the gun away. I can see another enemy, another Mole Rat. Another dead mole rat. Sorry, Mr. Mole Rat. Okay, so what have we got here? Is this the location? Activate water tower valve? No. I think that's the location there, and that might even be where we are supposed to be going, the super duper mart. Okay. So yeah, so we've now discussed finding new locations. And I'm sure a lot of this is going to be very obvious to quite a few people already, but I'm going on the basis that there will still be some people who haven't played this game. I also want to just check out this area over here. Now a lot of these buildings we can't get into. Pretty sure that is just scenery, that one. But this one is a building. What is this building, I wonder? Thank you. The sewer way station. I have a feeling that's to do with another quest. Who's this kid? Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Uh, those what now? What's the matter? Those things. They keep coming. They scare me. Make it stop. I, I don't know what he's on about. Strength. Hey, kid, it's okay. I'm big, tough guy. <laughs> I can take care of you. Or, hey, hey, calm down. It's going to be okay, I promise. Or, unless you tell me what the problem is, I can't help you. Or, okay, kid, I'm going to say it once. Stop your whining. <laughs> Let's go with strength. You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Can you... Can you protect me? I can try. Um, okay, so I'd like to help, but I need to know more first. Those... Big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, please find my papa. Um, okay, I'll go look for your father. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign in the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. Mm, 27% is pretty low. 
Uh, is there any way you can hide while I search? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. Okay. Thanks. Now, if memory serves correctly, he's talking about giant fire ants. Yes, you heard right. Giant fire ants. And somehow I've managed to trigger this quest, even though I'm actually nowhere near the starting location. I think the starting location is like way, way, way over here. Yeah, look, the diner is there. Okay, well, in any case, I don't want to actually be doing this quest just yet. You can see a fire in the distance just over there. I'm going to head on down this way, because this was actually the, the area I wanted to be going in. And we'll have a little look around this way. I'm not sure what building this is. It's not one that I'm familiar with. That's not to say that it hasn't been there before. Uh, a quick save. You never can tell what's going to jump out and try and bite you. There is, I'm not sure if it's over there, or it might be over, I think it actually might be over there, is another part of the Wasteland Survival Guide, and that's actually something we're going to go and do, but we're going to go and do it, again, a little bit cheekily, without having the mission. Because um, then we can get the bonus. Well, look at I'll explain this. Later. We got us a wanderer all the way out here in Wilms Wharf. You must got some important business out here to be wandering around, but taint none of my beeswax what you're doing. But if you're interested in trading, maybe we can help each other. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'm interested. Always need bullets. Takes damn near a hundred of them to kill a guai. Wow, is that all you've got? Oh. I don't want to trade with you then. You watch out for Gwai. They're all over. Okay. Gwai are Yawgwai, which are... A, it's like a type of bear thing that's been, like, uh, mutated via, well, you know, radiation and stuff. If we look out in the distance, you can see some enemies up there. don't want them to actually see us. So I'll try and sneaky sneaky. But whilst we are over this way, let me just see if I can get on side here. Hubris Comics Utility Tunnel. Hubris Comics. It's not one I'm familiar with. Again, a lot of these, you could end up going through the game actually not seeing nearly half these locations. And I know quite a few uh, tubers have already done this and actually have gone and gone through each and every one of these locations individually. Uh, one person, Colby, don't know if anyone's watched him, Colby House, but uh, he did a playthrough of this a long while ago and went through nearly everywhere. I can see what looked like some enemies. This is the super duper mart that we are heading towards. I'm also interested by the fact, sorry, I know I'm going in circles here, but for some reason, yeah, I get there's a load of locations over there we've not discovered. I don't know if this is still trying to take me back to, ooh. Wait, there's enemies up here now. Oh, these guys. Okay, these guys. We'll see about these guys. 
he actually they're trying to kill me already which is odd but oh okay I'm not going to be able to No, I'm gonna get closer. That actually helped me out. I want this one's head on a fucking easy on the swearing. They were a lot easier than I remember. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there we go. Now, what I just picked up was a contract for extermination, I believe. Here you are. Find Valenfor and show how we treat people that fail to live up to Mr. Tenpenny's expectations. Do not fail me. You know what will happen if you arouse my displeasure. B. Do you remember us having a little discussion a couple of episodes ago with a chappy in Megaton called Mr. Burke? Well, because we displeased him, he ended up sending hitmen on us. Because that is just the kind of guy he is. Anyway. Right. We managed to get rid of those guys. That isn't my... That's my hunting rifle. Right, let's see how this works from here. That is going to do that. So that's something that can happen. <laughs> the cars have atomic... Uh, engines, I think it is. If I can get this one to explode, hang on. I've really got to somehow increase my accuracy. I'm having my boxing torn up here. Right, enough of this tomfoolery. Let's go around this way. And... Really not going well, is it? repair that. Let's actually put that on number three. And that has got a damage reduction of 11. The Talon Combat Armour has a damage reduction of 13. Let's try that out instead. And how many more stim packs have we got here? Take a couple of those just to get our health back up. I wasn't expecting them to set off that car, that's the only problem. Okay. Now there is a quest, I think, for getting... I think it's a total of 50 of those Nuka-Cola Quantums. And we've got a new gun to try here as well. Quick save. Oh, it's auto saving. That's nice. We're hidden at the moment. Now there's quite a few enemies in here.
We also have uh, somebody who's going to try and come at us with... It's like a hydraulic punchy weapon thing. It's pretty cool actually, but... Ouch! at me bro that's like that is it oh I have no grenades left uh oh right. oh let's grab those bottle caps as well all right where did they go take it all just while I've got breathing room here it's the nice thing is that you can actually do your item management without um, <laughs> being set upon by these people right whereas of course in real life you wouldn't be able to repair on the fly right, where are they So, you know, in a world where uh, ammo and all these sorts of things are scarce, and I'm just shooting all over the place. Right. <laughs> this is my unique place, go a place style, guys, just so you know. Right, what have we got here? Tales of Junktown Bendy Jerk Bender, rather. Uh, steam Gauge Assembly. Uh, I've got some of these which have got rounds in them. Thank you. Another terminal. This is to open the door. Okay. Sterile. Fitting. Ooh, okay. Three in the right location. Probably the ING, isn't it? So, uh, meaning? Hey, there we go. Fantastic. That's what I like to see. Disengage lock. Wait, before we do that. Yeah, okay. Nice. Uh, now then, let's just close that for a second. Scrap metal, yes, conductor, yes. It's within here that we get the medical supplies, which is part and parcel of what we needed to be doing. And that actually also spawns more enemies. So, we're going to need a little bit of help with this. Don't necessarily need help. Uh, no. no. Ooh, booze. It's got three correct in it, so is it... It's probably the B-O-O. -O. 
I would say I would say it was books. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then we can get this guy to run a maintenance routine. Grab some grenades. Oh, my first mini nuke. Loading personality. Rob Cole. Pressure cooker, I'm going to take as well. So this guy's going to go out and start shooting people. Whilst I have a little look around in here and grab some of this good stuff. And hopefully he does well. A new code. Yes, I know I am over encumbered at the moment, but we'll sort that out in just a sec. Sounds like they may have just actually taken him out. So I've got to be aware there could still be. Yeah, there is. head just went splat. Take the frag grenades. I'm not actually going to take the armor this time. Let's see if we can't repair some of this pup that we're holding on to. Should then obviously give us a little bit of room to be f running around grabbing some more bits and bobs. I'm not sure how many other enemies there are Still alive, we'll grab all that though. So part and parcel of why we'd come in here was to grab uh, medical supplies. I think that was the optional quest. The main quest is actually to find ourselves some food. There's the pharmacy key, we don't need it in the end. I'll take that 100%. Wait, there's, we've still got enemies bound here. Yes! Finally. One of my shots had to hit eventually. Another bottle cap mine, that's awesome. Oh, no. Bit more? There we go. Blink and you would have missed it. There we go. Let's reload this bad boy. Motorcycle gas can and the handbrake again. We'll take that. Because if we are going to rock a melee weapon, there's one particular melee weapon that I want to be using. Food storage, boom, and there we have it. We've found food. I see ya. That's not the same person, but... <laughs> Off of your head. That was cool. The other guy is here. No, he isn't. He's here. Off with your head. Let's try it. Nice. That's how it should have been. Pretty nice. I love it when the plan comes together. Okay. Grab that as well. Is there anything else in here that I should be aware of? can't actually remember if there's anything else. So there's some stim packs, I suppose. And some more ammo. It's a pretty nice place to come, especially early on in the game. The sooner you're here, the more of this 
stuff is actually going to be useful to you. Uh, dirty water I'm not going to take. Some ammo for the laser pistol. And again, we can actually repair this laser pistol. There we are. This stuff. Pre war money is always a good one to have. And then we've got a body down this way and a body down the other way, is it? Wait, where's that? Oh, there he is. Right. Just going to grab what I need now, only because we are almost over encumbered again. There we go. We shall escape and we shall go back and see Moira. Hi! And she says. Ah, dear. Right, where has she gone? Hey there. And I'm not entirely sure where, whether we will be able to see her yet or not. But that will mean that that's two of the three first chapters of the Wasteland Survival Guide done. Yeah, we're going to have to wait. Let's go with 13 hours. The other one I think was the minefield for chapter one. So, how's the scavenging been? Got the food medicine yeah. from that super duper mart? I've been an amazing scavenger. Uh, it wasn't easy, but I got the food and the medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Mm, here we go. So, the three options we got. I found raiders and a robot. It's hardly a safe place to scavenge. Uh, I had a fun party with some raiders, then a guard robot jumped out of a cake. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool, actually. Or, intelligence. The raiders were using the pharmacy as a place to store their best gear, which, to be fair, we found a mini-nuke in the pharmacy, so... So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Pretty much Well, everywhere. keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit, my treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, better. <laughs> better. Fine, okay, and the final one's finishing up with a landmine research. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. <laughs> Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Uh... Okay, I'll head into the minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. <laughs> okay. Okay, before we do, let's see what you have for sale. Sure thing. She hasn't actually got any money now. So I'll probably have to sort sort out my stuff later. Come back. But we have the next mission. Oh. And of course she's given us the this thing. Where is it? And it weighs I'm pretty sure it weighs a ton. Uh is it under misc? Food sanitizer, there you go. It's got weight oh only seven. And basically what it's supposed to do is it 
I think it increases the health you get and I think possibly reduces the radiation but again because in this game in particular I don't really use the food it's kind of not useful to me but I don't want to be running around like a headless chicken here so let's eat some of this poop there we go should speed us up a bit we'll head back to our house do some inventory management I'll do that off camera though and uh, I will actually see you guys next time uh, where I'm going to decide what it is we're going to do next I haven't quite decided that yet but guys really hope you've enjoyed this one if you have please do all those lovely social media things please like comment share subscribe if you are new to the channel and i will see you next time for more in our playthrough of fallout 3 uh, we will be doing something not sure what yet but we will be doing something uh, but until then take care thanks for watching don't forget to follow us on instagram valon4gaming and i'll see you then have a good one namaste bye bye for now